Warfare 3 rank just dropped, so let's run through everything. So starting off with the vest, is only the infantry vest, so you've got one choice there. I'll go through all the side stuff and perks, and then we'll get into the weapons after. Tacticals, you've got two choices. Generally, you're going to be running stuns. Smokes can be useful. When it comes to lethals, you've got frag and grenade. It's personal preference. I prefer frag. I like bouncing off walls, but Semtex do have their place. The field upgrades, you're going to be running trophy. Generally, you can run dead silence when it comes to like search and destroy. I tend to do this as it does remove you from the minimap, essentially giving you ghost. And it does give a little bit of a speed boost to help you get around the map a bit quicker. For the gloves, you're going to be running either the marksman gloves or the assault gloves. So the marksman gloves are when you're using an AR or a sniper. It reduces that sway and flinch while ADS. And assault gloves, if you're running and gunning using an SMG or a quick AR, it helps with that jumping accuracy and time to ADS. For the boots, you've got one option and one option only. Everyone's going to be running covert sneakers. Unless you want to get sound horde, you can run stalker boots or tactical pads. They are great options, but stick to covert sneakers, eh? When it comes to the final piece of gear, generally you're going to be running EOD padding. Tack mask can come in handy, and if you're getting absolutely slammed by stuns, I'd probably chuck that on mid-match, but generally EOD is the best choice as grenades are very powerful and it will save your life. Now moving on to the weapons for the ARs, the first one we've got is the MCW, so for the barrel we've got the second line mammoth heavy barrel to help out with that range and mobility. For the muzzle we've got the Jack BFB muzzle which has a massive increase to our recoil control at a pretty decent drop to our handling and a bit of mobility, but another downfall with this one attachment, unlike all the rest, is that it does give you increased radar detection essentially giving the enemy an advanced UAV on you so they know exactly where you are. It actually lasts a bit longer than a normal dot and they get directional information where you're looking. So it can be a double-edged sword, but if you are struggling with recoil on any of these weapons, chucking this on will massively increase the recoil control. For the underbarrel, we've got a bit of mobility and handling with the DR6 hand stop just to help out with that. For the optic, I run the MK3 reflector. It's a nice clean blue dot. I just run whatever you prefer for the optics. And for the stock, we've got the Regal heavy stock, again, to help out with that bit of that recoil control. So this is how this thing fires on control. over the SVA, which is my personal preference and choice for this season of ranked. We've got the barrel is the STV precision barrel, which increases our recoil control and range, as you can see. I've got the cases break muzzle just to help out with that little bit of horizontal recoil this thing has. For the under barrel, I've got the SL skeletal vertical grip. Again, a little bit of recoil control improves our ADS and sprint to fire speed, re slight reduction to our hip fire accuracy. Got the optic again on it, and I've got the man V6 stock to help out with that recoil control again, slight reduction to our sprinting speed. The recoil on this one, there is a little bit of recoil on this one, but as you can see when you're bursting, there is absolutely no recoil at all. So you can pump close ones and you can just burst the last targets down when they're far away. Moving on to the submachine guns. So for the number one spot, we've got the rival nine. So for the barrel, we've got the clear shot barrel, which increases our range and recoil control. Slight reduction to our mobility and hip fire. For the muzzle, I've got the L4R flash hider muzzle. This helps out our recoil control. If you're really struggling with this one's recoil, you can chuck on the Jack BFB recoil again. Massive increase to our recoil control. However, I did find that it seems like it's got a little bit more horizontal recoil control when you put this one on compared to the flash hider. Moving down the underbarrel, we've got the DR6 hand stop again for that bit of mobility and handling. I've got the close quarters assault stock to help out with recoil control again on this one and for the rear grip we've got the vice assault grip again for that recoil control as this thing does have a fair bit of recoil from stock for the recoil on this one nothing crazy pretty easy to control Moving on to the second SMG, I've got the Swarm here. This is my second option. For the barrel, we've got the Reckless Long Barrel. Increases our range massively and our recoil control. For the muzzle, I've got the Jack BFB muzzle to increase our recoil control as this thing has a shitload of recoil. I've got the WSP Venom Grip. It's a special grip just for this thing. As you can see, it doesn't really have any cons, but it does reduce our horizontal recoil control by a fair bit. I've got the Fortress Heavy Stock. 
help out that recoil control. And lastly, I've got the Marauder grip, again, to help out with that recoil control. You don't like the sights on this thing. You can swap out either the Marauder grip or the under barrel and chuck on an optic, but I think the recoil control for me is too much, so I prefer having these extra attachments. That's the recoil. This thing slaps. As for the snipers, you've pretty much only got one choice. There is the cat, but the XRK Stalker is the best option we have. It's definitely the quickest to aim down sight. For the barrel, we've got the handler LKP short barrel, increase our mobility and aim down sight speed. For the stock, we've got the LV light stock, help out with that ADS speed a little bit. For the bolt, we've got the Stalker light bolt to help out with that rate of fire and rechamber time as it massively increases that rate of fire. For the rear grip, I've got the Stalker factory grip to help out with that ADS speed. As for the final spot, you can even chuck an optic on it. This can increase your aim down sight speed and ADS movement speed a significant amount depending on which level you do. If you're willing to give up a bit of flinch resistance, you can also put on these to increase your mobility. Now moving over to our secondaries, you've got the obvious choice of the Karambit. This is a great choice. It increases your movement speed massively compared to the gutter knife. So if you need to get around the map quickly or you want to use a knife I'd run the Karambit. As for the pistol you definitely want to take the Renetti. So the Renetti build we've got the competitive barrel to help out with our mobility and our handling. I've got the hole punch breech muzzle to help out with that movement speed again. We've got the folding stock to help out with that recoil control. This thing has a fair bit of recoil so this helps out a lot. I've got the 24 round magazine just to help out a little bit with that magazine as you only get about three or four bursts this helps out a little bit. You do have a slight reduction to your mobility. And for the rear grip, we've got that pistol fast draw so you can whip that pistol out a lot quicker. The pistol's recoil. And that's all. Cheers for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure you check out my video on the quickest way to gain SR in Modern Warfare 3 rank play. If this video helped you out. Make sure you hit that like button and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. For the mother...